So Craig, first pre-season training back. Uh, yeah. Before we focus on tonight's session, uh, how's the summer been for you so far? Um, obviously, you've been busy with recruitment. Yeah, well, I think I think the recruitment side, like I said, we're done pretty pretty early for us so as a as a management team. Really, it's just been I think tweaking everything else we want to do as a as a group and as a club. The recruitment side has, has kind of been done. So, you know, the, the summer for us has just been getting together and looking at you know how we're going to play sessions, how we can get better, how we can improve better ourselves. You know, as as a management team, as individuals. So it's it's been more more probably you know. Uh, self-reflection and, and, and looking how we can push this club on, you know, onto being a little bit more professional and, and, and doing better things, you know, in the coming year. Um, obviously tonight we've just finished, um, how do you feel like the first session went? Yeah, I thought it went well, I think you can see that uh, at the end, you know, we, with, the, with, the, with the games that we did, a little bit unrealistic, but you can see that we there's a lot of work to be done on, on, on the tactical side of things. We were good just to get the lads out. They've worked hard. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's, it's been a really tough session for them. I'm probably going to get even tougher. Uh, so it's, uh, it's been a good session for them. The spirits are high, you know, in there. The, 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 you can see the gelling pretty well already together. And, you know, being the first session and everyone meeting each other, you know, from day one. So it's been good to get out there, get a good sweat on, everyone work hard and, uh, and to get to know each other and, and on, on to Saturday now. And as you mentioned, they are gelling together. Towards the end, there you start to see a little bit of a little bit of combination play. You know, yeah. uh, at the back, you know, hands around that way. Yeah, yeah, Getting yeah. familiar, uh, Luke yeah. and Liam. Yeah. Uh, Hughes linking up. Uh, is yeah. that good to see? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You can see you can see the difference straight away. You know, just just in 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 that thirty minute block. You know, the the leaders there pulling and pushing people together. Uh, and talking to each other and organising, so you know it makes it makes everyone else's job a lot a lot easier. So uh, I thought that was a pleasing thing really that you could see straight away from from the game. Not not maybe the combinations inside. I think that's something that we're gonna have to develop, you know, over the next month and time. But you can see the the, the side there talking, pulling people to, in the right positions kind of being managers on the pitch you know it's good to see that there's four or five managers on the pitch that's 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 demanding standards and uh, and, and pulling people in the right direction that's definitely something that was pleasing obviously you've seen like sort of Paul Green get their arm round Alex and mm. and you know like not instructing him what to do but giving him some advice I yeah, suppose yeah, that yeah. makes your job a little bit easier yeah yeah well, <laughs> listen if Alex can't learn and, and kick on this year against we you know learn off Paul Green then then you know yeah I don't know what else we can physically do for for the lad because you can see there, you know, he's you know Green is just switched on his movement, where he's positioned himself, but also he's receptive to to learning as well. But but for him just to go over to Alex and work with Alex and and, and just give him a little bit of advice, you know, Alex has just got to soak that in all year, watch and observe and, and see how someone that's played, you know, for his country, how he operates and 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 the sort of movement and uh, and the football that he he plays. And we have mentioned that it's been obviously just over seven weeks since the lads properly kicked the ball as a squad. How pleased is it now that the first one's out of the way and that's the the, the six week program started? Yeah, for me the the first session's always always the you know it's it's not for, for myself it's not the best session for me personally as a manager because it's, you've got to get all the you know the, the the welcomes and everything like that out of the way and really we're just itching to, to get on the grass constantly with the lads and, and get them worked really so it, it's good to get the first session out of the way get all that side of it out of the way and 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 get everyone getting to know each other who's doing what how you know who, who's fetching what who's who's you know be operating on game day training how we operate so it, it's good to get that out of the way and, and really get down to the the proper stuff now is which is you know is, is getting these boys fit and ready for the start of the season and obviously they don't have a long turnaround to go until the first free season friendly game. Uh, Barnsley here on on Saturday. Yeah. Um, probably I think a lot of the players in there might want that that week beforehand to prepare yeah. when chasing after. Yeah, I think every against, I think every player does in there. <laughs> playing against these full time footballers. But yeah. How much of a you know the benefits of yeah. playing against the side like Barnsley? What what will that be like for them? Well, I think we're using it as a obviously we we kind of. You know, retained ten, and you know, brought in, you know, eight slash nine, nine, nine players really. So we're using it as a, as a, as, a, as all a one get together. You know, in, in that we're all going to do everything together. There'll be a lot of forty-five minutes in there, so it's kind of like everyone getting used to each other. It's going to be obviously a decent crowd here, so getting used to playing in front of crowds and various things. You know, again and and doing the right thing. So. It's uh, it's a great game. It's a great game for the club, and and you know I, I certainly back it and, and endorse it, and 
uh, and we'll use the game properly as, as, as best we can to compete against obviously a full full time side and and uh, and and to try and learn things and and develop things ourselves you know and try and put things just start to put little things that we want you know from the side it's only 48 hours in you know I, I hear Barnes has been in a couple of weeks but you know we're only 40 48 hours in so we began little things little things we can try and learn and, and develop and and try and get the lads you know some game time and uh, and an enjoyment together really enjoy being back together and and ready to to kick on obviously we've got a couple of connections with Barnsley over the years uh, yourself as yeah. well uh, starting as a youngster there how yeah. could you just describe a little bit how your years were uh, with Barnsley yeah well, there as a youngster uh, I, I can't remember if I started there maybe seven or eight all the way up until um, I think I left it you know when I was 20 year old 21 um, yeah I enjoy my time there it's my local club uh, I still take my little boy down there to, to watch games uh, I'll always be a Barnsley fan, always there, I love my time there. Uh, I always look for the results on that side of things, but you know, my career took a little you know, different pathway in, in that side, uh, into into coaching and, and that side and you know, I'm here at workshop to represent them Saturday and uh, you know, it's it's kinda it's kinda nice for me to be, you know, studying the opposite dugouts against my own town really and my own my own uh, you know, my own town in my own a former side that you know, I was lucky enough to like you say, you know, do uh, a YTS there, and uh, you know, and two year professional, you know, in and around the first team, and 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 uh, it's nice to be back against that with with my little ones here, my family here. But you know, I'm here to work and and to kick on and and uh, and learn, and uh, and I'm looking forward to the occasion. And with that anticipated crowd, um, yourself will be in, in the dugout. Uh, obviously, to your left will be Michael Duff and Fender. Yeah. And well, we know what his CV is like already in management, but just looking around Sandy Lane, imagine it as, as full as it is. Something that you've probably not experienced as much, obviously, with, with the attendances that last season. But what will that feeling be like? Yeah, it'd be a great feeling. I, th I, th I think, I think obviously, I'm, I'm coming off the back of the Cup final, aren't I? And I thought, you know, over a thousand people there, and you know, I have a lot of works up people there, so we know how much. You know what this can do, this club can do, and what attendance it can hold, and you know the potential it's got. So I'm looking forward to experiencing it again. I got a good taste, you know, one or two games previously in the previous season, in in uh, you know I think kind of like the Chester game and various things and all that side of things were quite a, a good experience. But I think we've got to, you know, we're talking about players in there where it's it's kind of the norm, and I think us as a management team, we've got to, you know, if we want to do well together and 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 certainly ambitious ourselves, you know, we've got to be used to managing in, in, in front of good crowds and